evening and welcome back once again to the third to the Leopardettes third game of this Ripley tournament here in Morrison Oklahoma good evening everybody I am your host not Jake Rutledge along with the one and only <laughs> introduce yourself Lee McGowan you want to take it from here I got to run something yes sir here. Leopardettes will be the home team starting out against uh, Hydro Eakley Bobcats. Line up uh, in the field for the Leopards is going to be uh, Mass McGowan in the circle. You got uh, McLean Stinnett at catcher, Kalen Taylor at third, Reese Flood at short, Jaden Webb at second, Lily Dotson is going to be at first. And in the outfield, you're going to have uh, Brooklyn Klein in left field. Chloe Bassard will be manning out in center, and you'll have Hallie Harrison right. Cool. Cool. Is this the same lineup? I can't read it anyway. So <laughs> the okay. lady from uh, Hydro just brought us over another card, and I can't read what's on there. So. I can read numbers, but I can't hardly read the names, so we'll just go with it and as we uh, go along. So, umpires are looking like they're ready to go here. We're fixing to get our first pitch. First up to bat's going to be number two. I believe that's Parker. Parker, I believe, for Hydro Eakley. And uh, I'm not sure if we covered it yet, but if the Lebertats win, they will play in Ripley tomorrow at 12.30. If they lose, they'll play in Ripley at 10 a.m. So let's hope for the later of the let's two. Let's hope for that, exactly. Again, Matty McGowan pulling pitching duties for the Leopardettes. First pitch is away. Got ball one. A little low, called ball. And we're a little late getting this game started. Next pitch away. Swung out and missed for a strike. 1-1 one, one the count. And it looks like number five out there waiting her turn to pitch or to bat. Foul ball for number two. Still a swing. Let's see how they ruled this, but she squared up. That should be considered a foul ball. So. Not sure what they're going to do. It is a strike. And that'll bring the count to one and two here in the top of the first inning. I promise you that didn't feel well because that was about a 63 mile an hour fastball that came in there on her. And she squared around the bun on that. That was not very nice. And it looks like she's ready to go again. Ump says he's ready. Next pitch is away. Swung at. Swatted over. Oh, called bad ball. Whip. Just misses the ball. He called the runner out. She stepped out of the box when she made contact. Okay, uh, I wish we would have had this up in the last game. <laughs> yeah, because the girl kept stepping there all over home plate. There was one girl that definitely kept stepping over, so uh, she would have she would have helped. And looks like Hydro Eakley coaches are gonna dispute the call, but the ump is gonna stick with it. Ump gives us one out. That will be one out, and that's going to bring up number five. I'm um, not sure. I can't really read Co. that. Is Co. 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 For Hydro Eakley. First pitch is away. Called ball. 1-0 the count. One out. Bases are empty. Co. waiting on the pitch. Pitch is away. Swung at and missed for strike. 
strike number one. Pitch away. It's going to be knocked out to center field. Broussard's going to field that ball, ball. Gets it into Webb. Holds the runner up on first. That's going to bring up number 12, York, to bat for Hydro. Pitches away. Just a tad bit outside. Next pitch is away. A little bit outside again. That's going to be ball number two. Two of the count. One out. Runner on first. Second, third base is empty. Top of the first inning. Pitch is away. Swung out. Ball's going to be popped up to center field. Broussard's under it. She snags it. Throws the ball into first. Unable to get the out there on first, but... That gives us two down, and that's going to bring up number four. Uh, it looks like Bus to bat for Hydro. B B U S S Bus. Pitch away. Little low, called ball. One zero the count. Again, two outs. Second, third base empty. Runner on first. Runner on first is York. Correction, Co. number five, Co. Pitch away. Popped, Popped up, again. up, out to center. Broussard, unable to grab it. Again, having a problem com communication up the middle. Same thing we had a couple times in the last game. Girls were all bunching up. Nobody's wanting to talk. Co. <coughs> over, able to make it over to third. Bus on First, second base, empty. Number zero up to bat. Uh, trying to catch our last name. Slaggle? Slaggle. And I'm sure there's, there's enough parents around here, they'll correct us if we're wrong. <laughs> Pitch away. Tad bit outside, called ball. One oh the count. Coach Edwards is going to call time and go out and have a few words uh, with this team. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopardette Softball right here on the Leopardette Sports Network. <music> back <clears throat> quick quick talk there by coach Edwards he usually takes a little bit more time but uh, usually quick quick in and out again I think he's one. looking up a situational deal I think they're wanting the, the girl to run hoping to get hoping to catch third baseman off uh, co on third there hoping to catch her off uh, off balance and, and make a quick throw back Another one outside, high and outside. Brings count to three and one. Three, one. Runners on second and third. First, empty. Three, one pitch on the way. Pitch away. Called strike. Called strike. Full count. With two outs. Runners on second and third. 
first base. Empty. No, three one. Three one. Three one. Just change it. Nice pitch. Called low. Now Bases we are going to be loaded now with two outs. And that's going to bring up this ace legal this time. I'm guessing it's going to be the sister. Uh, all right. Pitch away. Called strike. 0 oh, 1 to count. Two outs. Madison's got herself. Got a little bit of a hole here. We got, you know, had a mistake up the middle there and then the walk. You know, she's going to have to bear down and dig it, try to dig herself out right here. Pitch away. Swung at down the third base line. Nice. Taylor able to get the out there over on first to save the point. And that. We'll close out the top of the first inning scoreless. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. You're watching Leopardette Softball right here on the Leopardette Sports Network. Welcome back. We are here in Morrison, Oklahoma, where your Leopardettes are taking on Hydro Eakley in the Ripley Tournament. We're going to enter the bottom of the first inning with Broussard first at bat <coughs> in the one hole. The top of the bottom of the first. And a hit Ball's up the middle and safe. Oh, and she's, she's going to be called out. Uh, okay, we'll run with it. Called out. That's going to bring up Reese, Reese Flood. Flood next to bat for the Leopardettes with one out. Base is looking like Ghost Town. Pitches away. Bounced Pop off the up. plate, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, it's safe to say that was called ball, <laughs> ball one, one zero the count. I've I've learned to never guess at what these umps call. Pitch away, it's gonna be fouled away, fouled out, almost to Stillwater. If she gets a hold of it. Be careful. She just needs to get one in play. Like oh. I said, you know, last game we all struggled top to bottom. Really didn't have much run, you know, base running production. That gets over the well top of the shortstop. Hit. And that gets us our first base runner. Reese will go on Reese to second. Make it all the way over to second. On the overthrow from uh, coming from left field to short, uh, second base. So, And that's going to bring up number 20, Taylor to bat for the Leopardettes with only one out. Lone runner out there on second. Corners empty.
Taylor getting some instruction from Coach Edwards. Kalen was one of the only ones to have the have a hit in the last game after everybody else seemed to struggle, but it came late. So pitches away. Gonna be looks like it's gonna be popped up over to third oh, over to the first ball. baseman. Flood able to make it to third. That's gonna leave second base empty. And it looks like a Hydro Eakley's coaches, they, they want to talk to their girls about this a little bit. Now we got girls on the corners with one out. And that right there is the reason why you don't ever give up on, on a catch, on a throw. You've got to run through all the way. Sometimes you'll see girls give up as they're going down the line because they think somebody's going to immediately going to catch the ball. And the next thing you know, you know, the ball hits the ground and they're not even there. And the girl's able to make an easy toss over there. But if you're hustling down the line like Kalen was just doing right there, you know, now there's no question that she's going to make it to base. And... It looks like they're done. After the little conference, now we got uh, McLean Stennett coming up. Leopardettes with only one out. Pitches away. McLean shows bunt, called th pulls back, called strike. Taylor, Taylor able to steal second. Just snuck over there. <laughs> Stennett. Up the bat for the Leopardettes. Pitch is away. Called strike. Called strike. And that'll be strike number two. 0-2 to count with only one out. Runners out there on second and third. This girl's kind of got of a weird delivery, kind of almost like a screwball delivery. Pitch away. Way outside. That'll be the first ball. Trying to get her to chase one there. That's good. Good pitch call. One and two count. One out. Literally, Dodson's going to be next at bat. Pitch away. Up gonna the middle. Up over to center. That's, that should score. That'll score one. Maybe that should score two. McLean will hold up at first. That'll score two. Puts us up two to nothing. Now all of a sudden it's kind of a whole different uh, ball game. Bats are coming alive, girls are hitting the ball, and, and as you can see, good things are happening now. Lily's taking her instructions from Coach Edwards and steps in the box. Lily rips one right up the middle, bounces off the shortstop. Bradley Malico, who came in, scooted right on around to third base. That gives Lily Dotson a uh, single up the middle. And that's going to bring up Webb to bat for the Leopardettes. Yeah, they, Runners on the corners. You know, they talked about earlier, I heard somebody say, you know, uh, hitting is contagious. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's what we're starting. It seems like what we're seeing right now. You've got different girls hitting balls, and all of a sudden, it's just one right after the other. Hard hit, hard hit, hard hit. Now we're going to have a new we're have a pitching change here. So, Eakley Hydro is going to bring in a new pitcher, and she's throwing a little bit harder than what the other girl was. So, I was about to say there's a little bit more snap on that glove. Uh huh. And we're gonna they're gonna give her a little bit more time to warm up. Before Jaden Webb gets her crack at the bat. She's stepping up. 
And Lily Dotson's over there on first. So we got one out. We got Lily at first. We got Bradley Malicote who came in as pinch running for uh, McLean at third with one out. This is the most. This is the most batters we've sent in any inning today. Pitch away, swung at and missed. Strike one, a one to count. Still, we've only got one out. So we're up two to zero. Leopardettes hoping to keep that. Those hot bats alive. You know, sometimes that, that pitch and change will, will throw things, you know, because girls start getting in a rhythm. They start seeing the timing on it, and sometimes that's will disrupt everything. Jaden, oh. nice bunt laid down we by Jaden. Bradley Malco to score there. Jaden's called out at first, but she'll get the RBI. And I think in the last game we were talking about uh, we had never seen <laughs> Jaden <laughs> bunt, <laughs> and then there she, she goes. But that was a beautiful bunt, laid down pretty. Mm -hmm. Able to score Malico. Absolutely, and that'll bring up McGowan to bat for the Leopardettes with two outs. Scoreboard showing one strike, but we know that's not true. Uh -oh. Now it's true. 0 oh, 1 the count, two outs. Leopardettes up 3 to 0. Runner, lone runner out on second. Pitches away. It's going to be fouled away. Makes it a little, little south of Stillwater. <laughs> Goes into a, a pasture back behind us. They have to go find those those uh, balls that's knee high grass. So, thankfully, we brought Brandon Klein. He's going to go sniff it out for us. Two strikes. O2 the count. Two outs. Pitches away. Swung at and missed. That'll be out number three. And that'll close out the first inning. Leopardettes on top, three to zero. Stay tuned. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching Leopardette softball right here on the Leopardette Sports Network. And that is McLean Stinnett, everybody. <laughs> so we we told her we would go ahead and put her on, let her do her little dance if she'd hit our home run her next at bat. So we're going to hold her to it. We're going to go back to a break. <laughs> second inning here in the Ripley Tournament where your Leopardettes are taking on Hydro Eagley in the Ripley Tournament. The number seven hole, number 15, will be first up to bat for Eagley. McGowan pulling pitching duties for the Leopardettes. First pitch called ball, 1-0 the count. Next pitch is away. Called ball, 2-0 the count. Two oh now the count. Pitch away, swung at, it's gonna be popped up foul in the exact same spot the last ball was. 
This time, Brandon Klein's going to take a little bit of a break, and Scotty's <laughs> going to Scotty Henson's going to relieve him for us. Poison Ivy, he said he's not allergic to Poison Ivy. Brandon got a little concerned. McGowan's pitch hit is going to hit Sublet. Sublet going to go ahead and advance over to first. So when you see Scotty Henson, let him know you appreciate him saving Brandon Klein from Poison Ivy, Poison Oak. I'm not sure. It looks like Poison Oak, actually. Either way, I'm not getting close to it. <laughs> I'm staying out of it. Runner over there. Sublet on first. Second and third empty. Pitch away. Going to be a bunt. Going to be grabbed up by Kalen Taylor, who makes the out there on first. Sublet was able to make it out to second. That's going to leave Hydro Equally with one out. And still down three to zero. McGowan, the pitcher for the Leopardettes. And the number eight hole, uh, Warner up to bat. Uh, lefty for Hydro Equally. Corner's empty. This is actually number 10, Lowry. Oh, okay. I can't hardly read this, so. Okay, yours is better than mine. Another bunt. Another <laughs> bunt, another out. Webb's going to get the ball over to Flood there, who shifted over from shortstop to third to help out Taylor. Now we're back That's to the top of the lineup. Two outs, top of the lineup. And it'll be Parker for Hydro Eakley. Calling strike right there. Madison's starting to find her groove a little bit here. 0 1 pitch coming. First and second base, Ghost Towns. Third base, runner on third, pitch away. Swung out, it's going to be popped over to nice. McGowan, who makes it look easy. Gets the <laughs> out there job. at first. Just an excellent connection there between Dotson and McGowan. That's going to close out the top of the second inning. Leopardettes on top, 3-0. to zero. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching Leopardette Softball right here on V. Leopardette Sports Network. Brooklyn's a, a freshman this year. Pitch looked to be inside. Touch high. 1-1 one, one the count. Pitch away low. Super low. Barely hugging the ground. Ball two. 2-1 two, the count. Brown, first batter in the Top, bottom of the second inning. Another high outside. Another way high outside. 
three one will be the count. Pitches away. Popped up over right field. It's a second baseman and she makes the catch. That'll be out number one for the Leopardettes. And I'll bring up Brick, uh, number Brecken two. Brecken Klein. Brecken Klein. Swing and a miss by Brecken. Miss. Oh, one to count. <coughs> with only one out. Base is empty. Leopards on top. Three to zero. Nice rip to left field by Brecken. Well hit ball. That'll give her a stand-up single there. Again, we're seeing, you know, the hitting where we didn't see it in the last game. So, you know, the first inning we brought up sent seven girls to the plate. So that's more than what we did in two innings last game. So and that'll take us back to the Top of the lineup with Chloe Broussard up to bat for the Leopardettes. Chloe's last at bat. She grounded out the shortstop. Called third, called strike right there. 0-1. Only one out. The Leopardettes hoping to get back on another hot streak. Pitches away. Called ball. 1-1 one, one the count. One out. One, one, one. Chloe's asking a question to the umpire. I'm sure it has something to do with the, the box there. The way she, with her being a slapper that way, it's something they always have to be cognitive of. Nice slap. They're nah. going to try to roll two right there, but Chloe's too fast to make it down. They get Brecken at second. Chloe makes it down to first. And that'll bring up Number six for the Leopardettes, Reese Flood. Reese last at bat. She hit one shallow left right there, which kind of got things started. So hopefully here we can get a two-out rally going. First pitch high. Throw down to first. Massage safe there. 1-0 pitch coming. Two outs, Broussard over, lone runner over on first. 1-0 the count. Pitches away. Big bun, big They'll try bun. to do their best to get Broussard out, and it doesn't work. Broussard able to slide in there and under the ball. Take a strike right there, makes the count one and one. Good job on Massard getting a good jump on the pitch, able to get down and beat the throw. And it relieves a little bit of that pressure from Reese. Ball way inside. Oh, never yeah. mind. Um, he called that strike. Um, doesn't agree. So, uh, one to the count. Two outs. Pitch away. Swung out. Fouled away. Bring the count to one and one with two outs. Coe's the pitcher for Hydro Weekly, and since she's came in, it's kind of slowed things way down. Reese takes one back out of play right here and bounces off Another the black ball. hole. Ball fouled away. Not quite, not quite into the poison ivy, so it looks like Brandon Klein is going to be called up to take that one. Actually, no. Larry Stennett's going to relieve Klein this time. <laughs> two, Pitches two pitch. away. And It'll a nice hit to the left. Absolutely. That's gonna, coach is going to roll Chloe to – Chloe will score. Reese to second. She's keeping on going. She'll get a stand-up triple right there. That's going to put the Leopardettes on top, four to zero. Now you got Taylor, Taylor, Taylor coming in right here. Reese Flood, the lone runner over there on third. 
first and second, looking like a ghost town. Again, if you see Larry Stennett in town. Nice hit to, and center up, fielder's going to make gonna a catch. Grab it. But if you, folks, if you see Larry Stennett in town, <laughs> let him know you appreciate him giving Brandon Klein a little bit of relief there. Snagging those foul balls. With that being said, we're going to take another quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopardette Softball right here on the Leopardette Sports Network. Oklahoma, where your Leopardettes are squared off against Hydro Equally here in the Ripley tournament. Got number five, Cole from e Hydro Equally stepping in the pitcher to face Madison McGowan still in the circle. Top of the third inning. Pitch high. away. Hold high. Ball one, one over the count. You know, as a pitcher, you know, it's easier for them to work. But now they've, now they've got a little bit of a cushion there, Lee. They can relax a little bit. Nice pitch by Madison. They're going to have to call, pop up, oh. and they drop it. That's a fair ball. Uh, you two, Stennett and McGowan there battling it out for the ball. So we're waiting to see if they're going to call that foul or are they going to call that fair. And they're going to say foul ball. It looked like it was foul by about four or five foot to me. So uh, the Hydro Eakley coach was arguing that McGowan actually caught, you know, touched it in play and carried the ball out. But either way, it's ball. We got a one-one pitch coming. Pop ball going to be left. popped up over to left field. Breaking Klein up underneath it. Ball in for a first out. Klein making it look easy out there. Out number one. That'll bring up number 12 York. to bat. York. York flew out to center a while ago, straight away center. Swing and a miss. I believe that was one of them that Broussard snagged up. That is correct. Pitch away. Nice change up. A little inside, called ball, 1-1 one, one to count. Here comes the pitch. Pitch away. A little low. Ball two. The Off speed two drop one. outside a little bit and low. <clears throat> Next pitch coming Ooh. inside. 3-1 the count. This point goes not sure what to expect. Here comes the pitch. Nice pitch. Going to be batted down the third baseline. Taylor's going to get it nice over to job first. Really, Dotson digging that out of the ground. Dotson snags that ball up, makes it look easy. That'll be out number two for Hydro Equally here in the top of the third inning. That'll Slide bring it. up number four, oh, one of the bus. bus. Oh, that is bus. Pitch away. Knock over. Webb's going to grab it and make the play there at first. Nice. Make it look easy. 
That's out number three. That'll close out the top of the One, third. Two, Leopard three innings. On top. Four to zero. We're going to take a quick break, folks. Stay tuned. You're watching Leopardette Softball right here on the Leopardette Sports Network. Welcome back, folks. We are here in Morrison, Oklahoma, where your Leopardettes are taking on Hydro Eakley. We've got a new pitcher from uh, Hydro Eakley. McLean takes ball one. Yeah, that's Parker is in uh, in the circle now for Hydro Eakley. So now we've seen the third pitcher in third in as many innings. So and she just threw us ball number one. That. Going to be called strike. Looked a little bit outside. Questionable outside, yeah, but hey. Questionable, so can't pick on the ump any. Um, this time, 1-1 one, one one, one to count. Pitch away. Swing and a miss. Swung at and missed. We'll bring the count to one and two. No outs as Stennett is the first at bat. Bottom of the third inning for the Leopardettes. Next pitch is away. Way to battle that off. Fouled away. Count still one and two. Next at bat will be Lily Dotson for the Leopardettes. Pitch away. Looked outside. Ump agreed. Two two the count. And again, 2-2 two, two the count, no outs. Pitch away. Looked high, ump agreed. 3-2 the count, full count here We're for McLean Stennett. We're certainly seeing a, a different in pitching with this one. This young lady is pitching a little bit differently than the other. Off speed, a lot, lot slower. That'll be ball number four. Stennett's going to take first base over there and claim it as her own. Lily Dotson up to bat for the Leopardettes. Again, we're in the bottom of the third inning. Leopardettes on top, four to zero. We got Braley Malakote's going to come in and pinch run for McLean. McLean. With her being the catcher, they're able to sub to pinch run for the pitcher and the catcher. Just so, you know, it's kind of one of those courtesy things. Any team can do it. So Dotson steps in, awaits first pitch. Next pitch is away. Ooh, way inside. Almost hit Dotson's <laughs> left elbow. If you'll notice, a lot of these girls are wearing padding up on that left mm -hmm. elbow. You know, you get a girl that throws stupid, you know, really super hard. You, you don't want to take a pitch right there on the elbow. You'll mess somebody's elbow up pretty quick. And I haven't yet, but I want to compliment Dotson on her gloves. Uh, Dotson, work gloves, yes. Work gloves. Stolen base there by Malakote. When, when you see Dotson put those gloves on, you know she's ready to go to work. Well, and that's that's a symbolization of that. You'll, there, you, there's been some teams over the years. There's one high school team. I'm not real certain of which one it is, but we've seen them, I think it was last year, the whole team uh, wore work gloves. And well, that was that was their mentality, time to go to work. So, you know, that, and, that's, and that's a good attitude to have. Next pitch is away. 
going to be knocked over to the shortstop who's going to make they, the out there Mal at Mal first. Throw at third. Malikos is going to hold up. And Edwards is holding her up at third. Uh, we were talking about the gloves. You know, we have a high school uh, baseball player, Clayton Sanders, wears the golden gloves. And I actually uh, – made it purchased him a new pair of gloves and his first at bat with those new gloves he hit a home run so thinking maybe i'm gonna have to make that same purchase for dotson <laughs> absolutely if uh i might let her let her folks know if you'll get me the uh if you'll just tell her to go down to dutton's and pick pick a pair up i'll go just let them know and i'll go pay for it <laughs> <laughs> So Jaden Webb steps in, takes the first pitch right here, fouls it off. First and second base, empty, looking like ghost towns. Uh, and that is Malakote over on third. Webb at bat for the Leopardettes. 0-1 the count with one out. Again, we're in the bottom of the third inning. Scotty Henson oh, and one Brandon Klein waiting Hi. on their foul balls. Webb waiting on the pitch. Pitch is away. Swung at oh, and just barely, barely down the third baseline. Another six inches to the right, and it would have been a very well placed ball. One to the count with one out. You can see that these girls are all ahead. They're used to seeing that faster pitcher from a while ago. Now you're, you're seeing them get by, get ahead of, you know, the ball's coming in, they're, they're swinging. That's why you see the, the foul ball starting to go to the left side of the field instead of being more behind. Now that we're getting more ahead, so letting the ball travel deeper a little bit. They'll catch it out in the middle. You'll see. You'll start seeing some adjustments here pretty quick. Next pitch is away. Inside. Oh. Again, just barely looked like it half an inch from Webb's left elbow. Full count with only one out. Runner, lone runner Malakote over on third. Pitch away. And fouled Going to be fouled away. Good decision there by Webb to go ahead and swing at that ball. It might have been outside a bit, but, you know, again, you don't want to leave anything in the umpire's hands. You know, if you think it is, you better put the bat on it and try to get it. Nothing else, you just get it fouled off. Yeah, this this ump here seems to um, – He's a little – yeah, it's, he's questionable, fouled up. That's going to be out, backing out of play. Oh, and, and they're just with that high dollar radio. Just – Demolish the Morrison's karaoke machine. I was actually looking forward to playing karaoke <laughs> for everybody. I was going to sing the national anthem at the next game. Well, it absolutely and it just, just crashed. crushed, cracked the top it side of it. That. And that's Jaden Webb's fault. I'll talk to her about that after the game. <laughs> Three, Full two. count, one out, pitch away, swung at and missed. That'll be strike number three. Good effort by Webb, though. That's going to bring up McGowan to bat for the Leopardettes. McGowan's up with first and second base empty. Malakote, the lone runner over there on third. Two outs, pitch away. Strike. And uh, I would say I definitely would have to agree <coughs> on that one. Just a well-pitched ball right there up the middle. 0-1 oh, to count. Next pitch is away. That'll be strike number two. 0-2 oh, will be the count. Waiting on the pitch, McGowan. Pitch away, swung at and missed. That'll be strike number three. We'll close out the third inning Leopardettes on top, four to zero, got plenty of cushion. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopardette Softball right here on the Leopardette Sports Network.
Once again, here to Morrison, Oklahoma, where your Leopardettes are squaring off against Hydro Eakley here in the Ripley Tournament. First up, as we enter the top of the fourth inning, first to bat for Hydro Eakley, number zero, Slaggle. Her first to bat, she walked. Pitch away. Ball one, low. One o the count. Next pitch away. A little bit high. Take the count to two o. And for once in my uh, in my life, I'm actually ahead of the uh, scorekeeper. <laughs> Strike one called. That'll bring the count to two one. Scorekeeper must have been listening because they corrected it. Pitch away. A little bit. Just a little bit outside it looked like, but hey, called ball. 3-1 to count. We like it. Again, Snuggle draws mm -hmm. a walk. Now that I'm, I'm guessing this is a twin sister. That one there looked more like a strike to yeah, me. So it, 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 was, it looked to be a rise ball. Judging. Thrown that just started low in the, or started high in the zone and traveled through. The second slide, <coughs> a lefty. First her pitch called ball, 1-0 the count. Her last at bat, she grounded to Kalen Taylor at third. Pitch away. Called strike, 1-1 one, one to count. I would have called it strike two. Next pitch away. Called ball, 2-1 to count. Lone runner over on first. Second and third. Eakley's had a couple, Hydro Eakley's had a couple of runners, you know, scattered on throughout. You know, first inning they had three runners on, couldn't get anything across. Again, we got a slap to second. Pack, oh, we didn't. Uh, Webb able to grab the ball, but the girl slid under her tag. That's going to leave runners on first and second. No outs so far. Starting to turn into uh, an interesting inning here. It's going to bring up number Warner. Should be number number 15. 15 did. Warner. Sublet. 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 To bat for Hydro Equally. Again, top of the fourth <coughs> inning. Leopardettes on top, four to zero. If they hang in there, we play at 1230 tomorrow in Ripley. Attempted a bunt and miss. Strike two. 0 oh, 2 the count. So it's at last at bat, she was hit by the pitch. So next pitch is away. Swung it. Knocked over to Taylor on third base. Taylor snags it up. Holds all the runners up. Bases are going to be loaded. Again, no out. And that's going to bring up number three to bat number for Hydro Eakley, Warner. She bunted last time. 
And I can uh, I can see them trying to bunt right here, just if nothing else, just to try to move some runners around. Sacrifice that out. Corners are coming in. Big swing and miss. Swung that and missed for strike one. Madison's pitching well. We've just had some miscues right here. We should have two outs, but hey, that's why we play the game. Everybody makes mistakes, and we fix it. We watch these girls come together, and they'll fix their mistakes, and we'll be just fine. Pitches away. Call ball. 1-1 one, one to count. No out. Pitch away. Foul the way. Strike two. 0-2 oh, two will be the count. These hydro equally, you can tell they're they're swinging. They're not. I don't think they're even looking for a bunt right now. I think the coach has got the green light on. Wants them to swing away and hope something happens here. Ball two. Two two to count. Bases loaded. No outs. Warner at bat for Hydro Eakley. Pitch away. Outside. That's going to draw a full count. Next pitch away. Knocked over to Reese Flood. That's a who's double. Snag and a triple up. play, baby. That's, gonna that's, be a, that's what you call head play. You got a pop fly to Reese. She catches it. She tags the runner, throws over to first, and makes a true triple play. That's a great job that right there. Absolutely just like that. heads up ball by the Leopardettes. And that right there is how you get out of trouble and, in a hurry. You know, you got a whole dugout full of young ladies over here in the Hydro Equally dugout that had their hopes up. And in about a half a second there, Reese Flood shattered them. Stay tuned, great heads folks. Up. We're going to take a quick break. We're watching Leopardette softball right here on the Leopardette Sports Network. <laughs> back once again here to Morrison, Oklahoma, where your Leopardettes are squared off against the Hydro Eakley in the Ripley Tournament. We're going to enter the bottom of the fourth inning. First at bat for the Leopardettes will be Brown, number 12. Her last at bat, she popped up to second. Didn't get the bat, the barrel on the ball as hard as she would have liked, but, you know. Swung out and missed. Oh, one will be the count. No out, obviously, with Brown being the first at bat. Next pitch is away. Strike called. Oh, two will be the count. This young lady's got a different delivery than than the last pitcher. Even even though she's sliding on the mound, she's got a almost like a screw like delivery. Ball called, one, two, will be the count for Brown. <laughs> Next pitch is away, and outside. Tight. Called ball, two, two will be the count. Pitch away, swung at, and missed. I, actually, it's going to be fouled away. 2-2, two, two, still the count. If Brown makes connection, watch out. Could be dangerous. 
Pitch away. Full count. Full count. Wise decision by Brown there. Showing patience. Next pitch is away. High. Outside. That's going to send Brown over to first. And that'll bring up number two to bat for the Leopardettes. Breck and Klein. Now we just, uh, looks like we're pinch running. Hallie Harris is going to come in as a pinch runner for uh, Brooklyn Brown. Now Hallie's a speedster, so we'll try to get some speed on the bases to get turning around here. Brecken's last at bat, she hit ball to left field, line drive, swing and a miss. 0-1 will be the count, no outs. Harris over there, the runner at first. Nice bunt. Good job on Breck and Klein for avoiding. Nobody at home at first base. Everybody's safe. That's a, just an absolute beautiful job of Breck and avoiding the ball as it bounced back up toward her. She was able to split it and, and get on down the line. So that was a great job. Textbook. And that's going to bring us back to the top of the lineup with Chloe Broussard. Runners on first and second. Chloe's 0 for 2 coming up to bat right now. She's uh, grounded out to shortstop and then grounded back to the second base while ago. So, pitch away. Klein out there on first. Harris on second. Goatstown over on third. No outs. One strike. No balls. Pitch away. Going to be a Another bunt. bunt. Actually not going to get that out either. Oh, and a miss and throw. Hallie Harris, Harris will is score. Score. Brecken will turn third. He'll hold her up. Bassard advances to second. <clears throat> Nobody out. And now all of a sudden your Leopardettes are up five to zero. Hydro Eakley. Girls appear to be a little rattled. They're going to take a timeout, or they're going to take some time out there to kind of discuss things and maybe settle that. Uh, Pitcher down a little bit. Nice job on Edwards calling the, the bunch, using the speed to our advantage. Once he got Hallie on there, having Brecken bunt, turn around and coming right back with, with Chloe bunting. Now we've got runners in second and third, no out. Reese coming up. Uh, you know, Reese has hit uh, shallow left and then pitches away. Hit left stand up, uh, had a stand up triple left at, at bat. So. Reese has had kind of a hot bat, so let's see where we go from here. First pitch fouled away down the third baseline. Coach Edwards feels hit the ball. Next pitch away. And that'll bring the count to one and one. Again, no outs. Runners out there on second and third. First empty. Next pitch is away. It's going to be popped up over to left field where the shortstop is able to snag it up. That'll be out number one. And that's going to bring up. Called time and coming out to talk to her shortstop. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on, but it didn't look good. <laughs> I don't know that I want to be part of the conversation right there. Mm -mm. Coach didn't look very happy. And that brings up Kaylin Taylor to bat for the Leopardettes. And I don't want to jinx the young lady, but Kaylin's about due for a home run. Yes. If you're a statistics person and you like statistics, you better start running to Vegas and putting some money on that. Pitch away way low. Oh. Breck and Klein's tagged out there at home. Bad thing about with this this wall, the ball bounced. I mean, couldn't have bounced back any better to the catcher, and she was able to make an easy play. You know, it it, it was very good awareness there on Brecken's part. I noticed there as she was sliding in, she started to shift to her left shift side, over, trying yes. to reach around. 
good effort by Klein there. Next pitch is away, swung at and missed. Four strike, one one to count with two outs. Lone runner over on third, Chloe Broussard. Again, one and one the count. Next pitch is away. Called strike. One, two the count. Looked outside to me, but ump doesn't agree. And my opinion doesn't count anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Next pitch is away. Swung at. Knocked over to the shortstop who's able to make the play there. That'll be out number three. Leopardette's still going to escape the fourth inning on top, five to zero, uh, minus a miracle here in the fifth inning. We're going to be playing 12.30 tomorrow. Lee? It's looking and that way. With that, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching Leopardette Softball right here on the Leopardette Sports Network. in Oklahoma, folks, where your Leopardettes are taking on Hydro Eakley here in the Ripley. That's a mouthful <laughs> tournament. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Got number 10 coming in bat. A lot of those she bunt. First and time bat. McGowan out there pulling pitching duties for the Leopardettes. Number 10, Lowry, Lowry up to bat. 1-0 the count. Make that 2-0 the count. And top of the fifth inning, Leopards with a commanding lead, 5-0. Pitch away. Now we've dug out of our hole a couple of times. You know, we've had bases loaded twice, first in, in the first inning, then in there in that third inning when we went, you made the, had the triple play. So, you know, it... Uh, Four ball, four pitches, four balls. That's going to send Lowry to first base, and, and that'll back bring to the up top. Parker back up. First time at bat, she was called out for being out of the, uh, making contact out of the box, and then hit back to the pitcher the second time at bat. So she's over two. And we hope to continue that trend, or the Leopardettes hope to continue that trend. Next pitch was away, called ball. 1-0 will be the count, lone runner on first. No outs, pitch away. Called ball, 2-0 the count. Again, we're in the top of the fifth inning. Leopardettes on top, 5-0. To Next pitch away, little low. Runner's going to steal second. Ball three. That off-speed drop, the way she it throws, it comes in low. You know, it, uh, it's an effective pitch, but she's got to get it to where it needs to be. Pitch away. Ball four. That's going to put, leave runners on first and second, third empty. No outs. Number five up to bat for Hydro Eakley. Co. Fly out to left and a hit up the middle while the, right out the start of south. Next pitch away. Called ball. 1-0 will be the count. 
runners able to steal second and third. It's going to leave first base empty. Again, one other count, no outs. Again, I'm working to find her, find her, uh, her rhythm here. Pitch away. Called strike. 1-1 one, one to count now. Sometimes it seems like umpires, they don't, if they're not used to seeing certain things, they don't call it. And, you know, we noticed that earlier when when Jaden was pitching and, again, with Reese pitching as well. Ball. Grounder up to center field. That's going to score two for Hydro Eagley. Leopardettes are still going to be on top, five to two. Runner, lone runner out there on second. That's going to bring up uh, number 12, York. York, to bat. Ball called strike. 0-1 oh, to count again. No outs thus far in this top of the fifth inning. Pitch away. Foul ball. Fouled away. Over to the Leopardettes dugout. Pitch away. Knocked it over to Webb. Webb snags it up. Gets it over to first for the easy out. Lily Dotson's going to hold the runner up over there on third. That'll be out number one for Hydro Eakley. That's going to bring up number four for Hydro Eakley. Bus. Again, first and second base empty. Lone runner out there on third. Bus is first at bat. She grounded out to shortstop and back up to second. Ball and popped up, pop up to Lily. Over to Lily Just Dotson. Like Two outs. Makes it look easy. Makes it look routine. That that'll, ball was that'll bring up halfway. Slaggle. That ball was uh, quite a ways out there. Nice river pitch. I don't feel like he's called that all night. Now all of a sudden he's starting to call that. I don't know what he's seeing differently than what half the others have been, but. He's again. He, I don't know if it's the way it's coming through. Pop up, back to Webb. Bam! Just like that, we're out of the inning. <laughs> Webb able to connect with Dotson there for another easy out. That's gonna end the top of the fifth inning. Leopardettes on top, five to two. We're gonna take another quick break. Stay tuned. You're watching Leopardette Softball here on the Leopardette Sports Network. And we're back. And it looks like the Leopardettes are going to put a W over there Next to this ball game, um, just called the game. The Leopardettes are going to win it 5-2. to two, And they're going to be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's game will be in Ripley at 1230. Oh. Not sure who they're going to play yet. But, uh, again, Leopardettes will play tomorrow, 1230. And we'll be back with you. Appreciate you folks tuning in. And we're going to call it a night. 